Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Peterbilt 387. Now this is a revamped version of from a whole ton of people, so there's heaps of people in here, there's Creech Bum, there's uh, like there's everyone, so heaps of people have been given credit for this, so uh, we're not going to go through the list of them all. But uh, let's have a look on the outside of this Peterbilt 387. Now, uh, the notes actually said that it was done in Blender. So that's really cool. That's something very interesting. Not everyone uses 3D Studio Max, which is uh, unreal. Now, um, there we go. Look at all the detail in there. So it looks pretty good. Let's jump in and check out the customized configuration. So first of all we have a look at the cabin and there's only one cabin to choose from. I uh, don't know if there is another cabin to choose from with this truck. Now for the actual chassis there's only the 6x4. The engines, now all the sounds are done by Creech Bum, so that's actually really cool. We know that they're going to be good quality. Now the we have here the C13 380 horsepower. Uh, 435, there it goes down to C15s, there's uh, 550 horsepower, 600 horsepower with a cert, and 700 horsepower with a cert. So there's a heap to choose from there, so that's really good. Now the gearboxes, we have the Eaton Fuller gearboxes, we've got the uh, Eaton Fuller FS 6406A, 6406AR, the uh, 15210B, uh, the 14710BR, so it's a 10 speed, 10 speed there, there's a 13 speed, another 13 speed, uh, another 13 speed, 18 speed, and 18 speed with retarder. Let's try the 18 speed, give that a whirl. Now for the interior there is two to choose from. I think this looks really nice in here. Uh, not sure if the visors are meant to be a different colour or the same colour. I would have made them the same colour, but... Um, that's a bit strange, but look, let's flip it over. There's, I think that is the one that, you know, that's meant to be there, but look, there's a sort of still the same color there, so that's weird. Not sure what's happened there. Maybe that's something that may need to be fixed up in there, so. Uh, but that looks really nice. Look, there's little rivets in there on the ground. A uh, little bit of jaggedy bits there, but that's no major big deal. Um... Other than that, it looks really nice inside because this is what you have to look at all the time. So you don't want it looking like, you know, big chunky jaggedy bits uh, like that. Sorry, there's a bit of jaggedy bits there, but anyway. Never mind, it still looks good. Now, we go over to here and we're having a look at the paint schemes that we have. So we have Black Knight, Sunlit Silver, we've got 387, th uh, 3872. Uh, then there is the number three, four. There's a is that cater? No, it's warrior that one. I thought it was a caterpillar one. Uh, there's that one there. They could change the pictures, you know, because I don't I don't know why they're just using the same pictures over and over again. Stormy blue, deep aquamarine, bronze autumn, custom color, and the custom color works very nicely. We have a look going through the colors there. Very nice indeed. Now there is uh, this one here, there's the 5 Pinup Girl, Style 5 Pinup Girl. That's the one that we looked at last time when we did have a look at this ages ago. Um, a couple of months ago actually, we, had, we used that one. Now there's the other ones and you can change the colors here to whatever you want. Um, that is very nice. Now you can go over there to that. There we go. Looks like a Caterpillar truck. Now, uh, so look, there's... A you, I don't know if these have all, if all were in here last time, but um, there we go. There's some nice ones in there. I think they look a little bit dark in some places, um, which is interesting. I think today I'm just going to put on... What should I put on? Not that one again. Don't want to use that one again. Let's go and use that one, and we'll change that one to a bright yellow. Close enough. And that one there will change to a black black. There we go. That looks good. And let's go confirm. 
Oh, hang on. Uh, Customised configuration. We didn't finish having a look, did we? Uh, the accessories. Uh, I thought I was in the wrong spot then, but anyway, we can still put the accessories on. Uh, let's have a look. There is Sting, so you can add the little lights down the bottom if you want. We click on those. There's a few lights to choose from. Thank goodness you can't put a spotlight on there. That would make it very awkward dragging on the ground. And there's also that one as well. See, there's a slight difference there. That one doesn't quite fit on there as well, but it still looks good. That one there, I think, looks the best. So we'll leave that one on there. Now, uh, the bull bars, you get that bull bar there. Or the just little anchor spots there. And you can put in the square lights if you wish. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, leave that one there like that. And then we have here, which is the mirrors, which you can add on there. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this, but I like to just leave them on there just because, you know, because they're there. Uh, then we get the fairy for the bonnet there. We can add in there and make that look pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why you can't take away the other one. You're adding the fairy on there as well. So that's strange. Uh, there's the actual the sun visor or stone guard, whatever you like to call it. And then over here we've got the mirrors, which is paint or chrome. Let's put chrome ones on since we've got a lot of chrome going on. And up here is the light bar. Now, the light bar here, you can chuck some horns on the side there. And then you can go and put, uh, you know, put a spotlight up there if you want. Or probably what most people would do is put the, the actual uh, beacon light, radiant beacon light up the top there. Which looks very nice. Uh, then we have the lights on the side here, which you can add on. Go through and add a whole heap of different lights. You can make it chrome or paint. Let's make that chrome, shall we? And we'll just go through every second one. Uh, we haven't got time to go through all of them. And then down the bottom there, you can put on some more. And again, every second one we'll go through. Like that. Hala, there we go. See? Uh, adds it in there nicely. Voila. All right, now, uh, for the wheels, let's have a look. Um, there are the standard wheels in here. So we've got standard, elite rider, dark silver, eastern eagle, raven, alloy vision, cirrus, majestic special, American dream, and absolute fury. Uh, let's put on the American dream, shall we? And the tires that are here are the standard tires. And as you can see, we have the the different you know different ways of doing it so you know the different grades of the tires and how good they are in the in the streets and that on the weather and the rain and fuel economy now uh, that one there I'm just going to make standard for the rear rims they're all the same and the tires will just leave them as the same again now spinning around there's nothing for us to modify on the back over this side here there is the little guards over there so we can again go every second light which is what I'm going to do. And there we go. Voila. And let's put that one there as well. And we will go every second light. Otherwise, we'll be here all day as it is. And there we go. Right. Awesome. There we go. And then we go over to the wheels, which have already been done. The mirrors have been done. And that is everything. Turn those lights on. There we go. Awesome. Right. Now, let's have a look on the interior. Now, the interior, there is nothing further that I have seen that you can change. Just these other bits and pieces here. Over there. And see there's mirrors. You can take those mirrors off if you want. Those mirrors look like they're working properly. And no accessories, no added extra bits or whatever in there. So that is pretty much it. Right. Uh, let's go and confirm that. And then we will do a trade-in on the last mod. And then we'll take a look on the outside. Let's see how long it takes to load. Sometimes they take a long time, sometimes they don't. And there we go. That one does not take a long time to load. It's very quick indeed which is good. 
Now, uh, having a look, looking for any holes or anything like that. Looks very nice. I like it. Like how it looks on the outside. Very nicely modelled. See, very smooth. Very good. Now, just going around again. One more pass, and there we go. You can see the engine in there, all good. Very nice. Uh, see the actual tanks on the other side there. Looks very good, I think. So let's jump in and we'll listen for those sounds. So turning on the truck. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, what's happened there? See on the side there between the light and the guard, there's a little bit of something. has gone wrong there, a bit of texture issue. Yeah. Looks like it's bled over the actual uh, paint there. It was looking nice until that bit there, so I don't know what's happened there. Ah, uh, it's a minor little thing. Minor little thing. But anyway, it's all good. It's very nicely done. Very nicely modelled indeed. Let's have a look at the detail at the back here. Yeah, see there's a fair bit of detail in there. Um, we're having a look in the back there. No, look, I think that's great. You can see the engine in there. Very nice. Right, now let's turn the lights on. Uh, we will flick through the dash. No computer or anything. Oh, yes, it is over there. Right, now the wipers. Whoa, those wipers are flying off. Look at that. They're going to fly straight off the truck. I think we're going to use the wipers to flap our way to the job and then pick up the load and fly our way off to the next destination. There we go. Man, they are flying like crazy. So let's check out the gearbox. So there's reverse. We have their low gears and they're up. That's eighth gear, 16. So there we go. And pop that back in. Okay, so let's start her in fourth and go for a drive. Now the map has gone away for some reason. Oh no, there it is over that side. I was looking in the wrong, wrong place. Uh, so let's go take it for a drive. Oh, listen to that sound. Sounds nice. Engine noise could be a bit louder, but still sounds good. No, Jake, because uh, it doesn't work at the moment in this current patch 1.22. So uh, just tested it to see if it did or not, but no, still no go. This is really nice. It's driving very, very nice indeed. This is something I could drive for a, a while because it's yeah, it feels good to drive. It takes off, it accelerates nicely. It's obviously had a lot of work on perfecting it, getting it right. And I think that that is something that's really, you know, quite good that they've done that. They've spent a lot of time on it. So let's pull into the service center. I don't, this in this new patch, I think we see everything anyway, so. I don't really, I think we're, I'm going to el eliminate this out of the actual, oh, we missed it. Oh, I went around the wrong way. What was I doing? I don't know, just going for another drive. That's what I was doing. Oh, let's just turn this way. Confuse everyone and turn this way. On the wrong side of the road. Whoops. This is driving really nice. I like this. It's very nice indeed to drive. I really do like it. 
Um, I'm having a lot of fun driving this, guys. So if it's if you're, I think I don't remember this being so nice to drive. To be honest, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, if you want this in the weekly drive, then you know what to do, guys. You need to vote down below in the comments below. Make sure that you vote this week because this is the very last uh, sneak peek that you can vote for this year. We'd be, we'll be doing sneak peeks, but they're all pre-recorded ones, guys. I'm letting you know now. There will be pre will be sneak peeks, but pre-recorded after this one. Uh, look, that is all the same there. And... Yeah, I don't like that interior. And that's the same, is it? That's pretty much all the same. Yep. Yeah. What about accessories? No more accessories there. That is it. That's it, folks. Well, what you get is what you've what we've already got. So that's it. Everything. We've got everything. Right. Well, that is pretty much it for this sneak peek guys we've seen how it drives we've had a look at all the paint jobs and anything else that we could possibly have a look at the the um gearboxes uh, sorry you know all the the different transmissions and engines and everything so there's a uh, heaps of stuff that we had a look at so well this truck here finally i think that this truck here is actually quite good to drive i do like it and if you're interested in the Peterbilts, then this is definitely something that you would love to drive. But uh, this is, as I said, guys, this is the final sneak peek for 2015. We'll be coming back in the early 2016 with some more fresh sneak peeks for you to have a look at and to vote on. Uh, we will be doing some, we might do some sneak peeks here and there. But they'll just be a little review for you to look at. Uh, you can comment on it, but there won't be any voting for... It's no official voting on it for a weekly drive or anything like that. So uh, we, will, we will be coming back with the weekly drive in 2016 as well. But we still have a couple more to do yet. We've got the best of weekly drive. And then the week after that, we've got 2015's best mod. So that is actually the best truck for 2015. All right, so that's up to you to vote on what you want us or what one it is. So make sure you get in and vote for that one. So that's coming very soon, very soon, guys. But for now, this one here, the final sneak peek of 2015, get down in the comments now and vote. Do you want to see this in the weekly drive? Say yes for yes, I'd like to see it. Or if you don't want to see it in the weekly drive, then say no, that you don't want to see it in the weekly drive. And then on Wednesday, we'll have the weekly drive, which um, is not too far away, guys. Only a couple of days. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. If you like this video, then don't forget to share and give us a thumbs up. Uh, keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we take a look at Old Mick Senior's farm, and we're playing Farming Simulator 2015. Just down there, we check out what we did this weekend on the Weekly Convoy. If you'd like to visit our website, or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on! Come on.